It is September 11th, 2022. How is everybody doing? Ding dong, the witch is dead, right? Isn't that what everybody's preaching right now? Woo! Or, oh, we're so sad. She did so many wonderful things for us. Did she? Did she really? I don't think she did, but, you know, that's what everybody's talking about. It's either you loved her or you hated her. Some people thought that maybe she was not really human. What are your thoughts on that? Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Queen of England. You know, the, the persona of the sweet old lady who loved her people and why she lived in a big castle and people were poor. She was such a wonderful woman and all the peasants loved her. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating to somebody like me because if I go into the red letter teachings and do certain things with the words and critically think what we were taught was you're not supposed to be governed. Don't get me started on taxation. So I wanted everybody to think about that for a minute. Why is it that, let me lift this up a little bit guys. But why is it that so many people feel that they should be taxed? that they should be governed, that there should be somebody in a hierarchy that tells you this is how you should live your life. You know, after talking to a new friend Friday, I realized that there's very few people out there that do question what they're taught, what, what most of us would say the narrative. And the narrative would be, you know, you're born in this world, you go to school, you do this, you do that. Um, you don't ask questions. You go to church. You don't question what the preacher's telling you, even though it's his perception of the so-called word, the word of Romans, the word of more hierarchy behavior, right? That there's always a God above you, that you're a peasant and you're not worth sovereignty, which is freedom. You're not worth love. You're not worth peace. And you're not worth having a home that you're not paying a fortune on that's not even going to the principal. I mean, have you ever looked at your statement if you own a home? How much of the money is actually going to principal and how much is going to interest? The whole system is corrupt. That's why I started the ministry. Because I want everybody to start to understand that there is a very serious situation here that we've all accepted as our truth. That mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and great grandma and great grandpa and auntie and uncle all said, this is just the way it is. There's nothing you can do about it. Guys, there's so much we could do about it if we all were to unite and get together. We could take the whole system down. Nobody should ever think they need a king, a queen, a prince or a princess, a president, um, <laughs> senators, making laws that they say you vote on and that's why they made the law. It's all a lie. Now you guys are going to say, but Brady, this is a ministry. Why are we talking about government? You guys ever hear the saying when you were growing up, don't ever talk about religion and don't ever talk about politics. There's a reason for that, because if people were to start talking about it in a very healthy way, um, people would have started thinking, wait a minute, something's really wrong with this. But we were taught not to talk about it. And, you know, we were also taught, I'm just getting some water, guys, hold on one second. But we were also taught to never mix religion with politics. But here's the deal, guys. The majority of your preachers are a huge part of politics. That's just crazy, Bridie. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not crazy. It's huge. That's why they don't pay taxes, because they have to do what they're told to do. They have to preach to you what they're told to preach to you, okay, to make their money. That's why you see so many churches that are huge and you know, every Sunday, they got to talk about how you better give your 10% of what you're working your butt off for so that I can preach to you every Sunday and tell you how to live your life. Just think about it for a minute. That's not how you should be living your life. 
if you look at who you are, who are you? Well, a lot of people say, well, my name is Joseph Smith. I'm, and don't take that name, I just picked one. Uh, I'm a male. Uh, I work as an IT tech for Walmart corporate. Um, I'm a Republican. I am a Christian. I am. I am. Remember, I told you guys a while back that if you use the words I am, you're declaring to your spirit that that is who you are. And that's not who you are. Okay? You work as an IT tech. Have you guys ever thought about the wheel of it all? So, I'm going to work to pay for a house that I have to live in that gives me security, a roof over my head, and allows me a place to eat my food. I hate my job, but I'm going to keep going to work to pay for that. But the majority of the money that's going in my mortgage, it is paying the government, right? Okay. I have a car. Well, I have to have a job to pay for the car because the car is so expensive and all the taxes and all the personal property taxes and going to the revenue office. And I know in California, it's uh, the DMV because that's where I'm from. You're paying all these taxes. Where does your tax dollars go? It's going to the government. And have you listened recently, guys, um, how, how your tax dollars are being paid out? How much money went to the U da 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 trade? Wasn't it trillions of dollars when it was all added up? And from my understanding of hearing from some folks out there, the money wasn't going to the people. It went to the da 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 the government. They're money laundering money to other countries and telling you it's because of a WAR. When you break it down and you look at things through a different eye, um, you're going to see the truth. You should never, ever, ever think that there should be a hierarchy. The hierarchy of everything, guys, is, is not even um, how a true human should be living. If it has felt weird to you, it should feel weird to you. It's not how you should be living at all. And if you guys really think about it, if she is really dead, did that save people or is that going to make it harder for people? Because she taught the same stuff to her lineage, her children, right? They all do rituals. They all pay their respects to their God. And that's who you pay. You break it all down, we're all paying all this extra money, and it is going to their God. Right? So, I just wanted to give you guys a Sunday think. It's a Sunday think. Maybe that's what I'll start calling it. To just truly sit down and think, why do I think I need a president? Oh, because he's going to other countries, and he's fixing things. No, they don't, usually. And, um... There's another subject I want to hit on that, but I'm not going to do it in this video. Today's your Sunday think time of why you feel like you need to be governed. Because in all honesty, we do not. There's no reason for us to be governed. There's no reason for us to be taxed. The government spend the peasants' money like it's water. And they're lying to you about where the money's going. And the one that everybody calls Jesus which is not his true name, he did not teach that. He said that you should never be governed, you should never be taxed, and that you should fight back. You go to church, and you're not thinking for yourself, you're letting your preacher tell you what to think, and he's telling you, give me 10%, do this, do that. He's governing you. It's another hierarchy. And that's not how it works. So there's your daily thought. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for joining me at... Ozark Ministry and Health. I am going to add this to Bridie Straight Talk too, and you're welcome to be on that page, however you guys work it. Um, but as a ministry, my goal here is to unindoctrinate and to say it's okay to critically think about things that don't make any sense to you because it shouldn't make sense to you at all. It shouldn't be okay with you at all that this is how you live your life, okay? Happy Sunday, guys. Um, 
with it being September 11, I would like to also say that um, we did go through a very tragic time and there was a lot of lives lost and it wasn't because of what you thought. It was um, way more diabolical than what you were told. But nonetheless, a lot of Americans did lose their lives and to all the families out there, um, I send you peace and love. I have for years and um, let's just do a moment of silence for those people. Have a wonderful week. Thanks for joining me.